What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling and today we making a no bake cheesecake and we doing it with me AB. Now you guys seen that th thumbnail I know you guys like that. Hey listen you want to talk about something that's like super easy this is it right here and this video right now is really and truly inspired by Elisa. Her name is Elisa. Listen from Elisa in the kitchen. You guys got to go by and check her out. She and I did a live one Saturday. Hey listen she inspired me with this. She made them in like these cups. This time I'm getting ready to do like a full you know a full version of it. Listen, so if you never ever made one of these, listen, get down, get your ingredients, get everything together, and you know, make it along with me. And with that being said, you know I'm not finna over talk it, we finna get right into it, so let's make it happen. All right, so here you go. This is the ingredients. Hey, not a whole lot. I'm gonna start off by going ahead and just showing, look, this is my pure vanilla extract, right? We're gonna use a quarter teaspoon. Now, because it doesn't have so many, you know, ingredients, right? I decided not to even put this in a bowl. Hey, sometimes it's, it's more of a, you know what I mean? Something like this, this is just like super simple. So we're just gonna put a quarter teaspoon of bacon uh, vanilla. Then we got that, you know, that powdered sugar, right? A couple of tablespoons. Listen, this is uh, salted butter, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt it. So this would be two tablespoons of melted. And then right here, you wanna get yourself a fresh pack, you know, of, uh, of Oreo cookies, right? These are just the regular ones. Here I got two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, I got 18. We're gonna use 18 of these. We're gonna make that crust, right? And we're gonna make it in this spring form pan. This is a non-stick spring form pan. And then I'll put the link down into the, uh, in the description box below. And I'll also pin it in the number one comment if you guys are getting uh, interested in getting one of these. This is a nine inch spring form pan. Here, we got cream cheese. We're gonna use about half of this. And then we got just a little bit over a half a cup. I mean, excuse me, a whole cup, right? If you look right here, it says 250 milliliters. And don't forget, if you guys know that, I, you know, I do work with Elisa from Elisa in the uh, kitchen. Her being overseas, you know, she has, uh, they give different measurements. So things come milliliter like that. And I gotta like convert them over, you know, for myself. And I'm gonna be putting it all together with my KitchenAid, you know, hand mixer. Hey, super easy. You guys are gonna look, love the presentation. And listen, you see the bottom of this? Look, this old fashioned, you know, ice cream scoop. For those of you guys that know about uh, cold, st cold stones, hey, what is this? You know they use something like this. But look, we are gonna use the bottom of this cause we gonna crush them cookies up and we are gonna work it like this back and forth just to get them broke up. Now, with that being said, you see all of the ingredients. So first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna, you know, move our ingredients. We are gonna set up our workstations so that we can have a good workflow. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get us a, ourselves a bowl and we're gonna go with 12 of these Oreo cookies, right? So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. We'll put these other six, we'll put these over here. And these right here, what I'm gonna do is, check this out. We're just gonna take them. I'm gonna crumble them and break them up right now and just get them into the bowl like this, right? Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the back end of this ice cream scoop. So anything you guys have that has some kind of blunt round edge on the back, and what you wanna do is, you just wanna take it, and you wanna just start getting it to break. Now look, this is what you wanna get them down to like little small pieces like this. And because it has that stuffing, you're gonna get something to like, you know, clump up together, right? But no worries. Once we got them all broke up, you know, as best as we can, now what we want to do is go ahead and melt our butter. And now that our butter is melted, you just want to go ahead and just pour this in here like this. Right, we're still going to use the back end of this. We're just going to give it a stir and we're going to work it down some more. What we're doing is we're getting it to be like, almost like a wet sand te texture. Now, as you guys can see, look, it's almost like wet sand, right? Now, look, when I look at this right here, I wish I could contact it right now because I'm looking at it, right? And I'm looking at the volume here. And then when I take a look at the, this is a nine inch spring form pan, right? I'm saying if I had a smaller one, I believe this would work. So what I'm gonna do is right now, I'm gonna go ahead and double it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna double the Oreos in here. I'm gonna double the whole complete recipe. So what you guys see on the screen, we're gonna call that like maybe like a five to a seven inch spring form pan, that'll be fine. But you, I know that I would like to have like a thick, 
bottom crust. You know what? So that way when you cut it, you slice it, you got that nice base at the bottom and it doesn't do nothing but scream out Oreo. Now what I'll do is I'll just start breaking these up like we did. Now that I doubled the volume, this looks a lot better. I can see this right here coating it on the bottom. So listen, don't forget, when you see the recipe, that's for like a five inch. I'll put everything down in there and that'll be all correct. So all you gotta know is, since I'm using a nine inch spring form pan, and I wanna have some type of, you know, thickness to my bottom crust, right? So I just doubled the recipe. That's it. So once you got them all broke up, we gotta get them like that again. Like it looked like a little, it looked like, like dry sand right now, right? So I'm gonna go ahead, here go another two tablespoons. We'll just pour this in here. Just use this just to mix it up a little bit. You can see it. And then this is why I say it starts to look like wet sand. You know, but once you keep grinding it in here, you know what I mean? And you, you still, you know, grinding it into smaller pieces until it becomes more like a crumb or again, like I say, like a sand, then it'll be ready. I like this right here. It looked like it's got a lot of clumps to it, but it kind of like just, you know, forms it, you know, they stick to each other. You know what I mean? They form their own, but listen, we're gonna put it inside the spring form right now. Then we're gonna mash it down, pat it down, and we're gonna use the spatula. Okay, now that we got that set up, what I'm gonna do is, we're just gonna take this, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it down here on the bottom, just like this. Right? Then we're gonna take our spatula, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it like this, and we're gonna use the spatula to like just mash it down. But right now we wanna make sure we coat the bottom completely. So what I'll do is I'll turn it so you guys can see it, you know, on both sides. Now you can see why I said we needed to add some more to it. And again, what I tell you guys about having the right tool for the job, this is perfect. You know, with this flexible end right here, I can get right next to the corners and I can just mash it down. Everything stays nice and neat. You know, it's just nice and uniform and it's smooth. And that melted butter, along with the, uh, the Oreo stuffing, holds this together nice. Now, let me bring it up here so you guys can see. And that's what you guys should have right there. It's packed, it's nice, it smells good, and I gotta resist. I keep telling you, that milk is calling my name. Now let me get my bowl, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put our whipping cream inside. Okay, now look, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my electric mixer, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beat this, and we're gonna whip it up, and we wanna do is double this in volume, right? It should form some type of a, uh, some kind of peak. So, here we go. Now look, if you notice, I started off on low, right? The reason being, listen, if you hit it with it, you know, mixed too high, you know, with those eight, the beaters on there moving too strong, it's just gonna splash it everywhere. So I start off on low and then I ease it up, right? And then you can just see, you want it to get it thick and where it starts to form a peak, just like what you see right there. Now, once this is done and it looks like this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit it back into the refrigerator and we are gonna keep this chilled while we go on to the next step. Now, we got that in the refrigerator, right? Now what we wanna do is, we wanna go ahead and get our cream cheese. And don't forget, we doubled everything, right? So we just jumped that whole thing of uh, cream cheese in our bowl, come with our powdered sugar, and then our Watkins, right? This is our vanilla extract. Now, remember earlier I said that I didn't put it in the bowl, you know what I mean? Cause it's still about having a good workflow and the fact that you don't have to worry about another bowl being uh, washed, you know, it's just easier for me just to go ahead and just make that a half a teaspoon. Now you wanna start off on low, just like we did before, and you wanna just go ahead and mix that. And what we are looking for is like a creamy, you know, that's the creamy texture that we like. That right there is what you wanna see. Now that we have this done, right? I'm just gonna set this off like this. Now you can see here it is right here. What we are gonna do is we are gonna add this right here. And I can tell you, listen, I went ahead and cheated it and tasted it. And you wanna talk about good, Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Now, once you got everything poured into the, you know, our bowl, what you wanna do is get your mixer again, and then you just wanna start off on slow, and what you wanna do is you wanna mix it thoroughly, and then, you know, 
Halfway through it, you want to go ahead and scrape the edges with your spatula and scrape the bottom because you want to get an even, you know, mix, right? So then when you're done, then this part is really up to you. It depends on how much Oreo you would like to have in your filling or, you know, you can put as much as you like or as little as you like. What I did was just broke up those six cookies, stirred it up. And what I do is when I do it like that, I just fold it over. You notice I didn't use the hand mixer, right? I just went ahead and folded it over and it looked like that. If I would have had a lot more cookies, but because I kept eating them, you know, those Oreo cookies, I didn't have a lot to like put in there. That was my bad. Didn't know I was going to be doubling the recipe. But after that, you could just see right here. Here's where it becomes self-explanatory, right? You just want to get all of your filling inside of your uh, spring form uh, pan. And then what you want to do is you want to take your spatula and you want to work it. And the objective is, listen, the objective is to get it level and spread all the way to the edge. So just take it and use whatever technique you guys have uh, that you know that you use when you do baking. But other than that, you can just see how I did. I just like worked it around, got it as even as I could. And then that's what you get right there. Now, I went and got me some more cookies. And believe me, folks, I was running out. Because listen, I was having cookies, you know, throughout the whole cook, right? So just break them. And what we're doing right now is we're just decorating the top. Now, this part is up to you, but I think it gives it like a nice, you know, finish. Just break them up, set them on top, and it'll be just like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the refrigerator. Now, it's up to you. You can put it in the refrigerator for up to six to eight hours, or you can leave it in there overnight. Okay, here we go. Just took it out of the refrigerator. Now, just keep in mind, listen, I chilled mine overnight, right? Remember, six hours is good, you know what I mean? But I went ahead and opted just to go ahead and, you know, do it overnight. So, this is a spring form pan, right? So, you guys can see that. Now, now this particular pan, look. You see how these little latches right here, they like slide up and you can see like it kind of like spring, spring open, right? You just want to take both of them off, you know, real simple. Just, you know, be careful. Once you got it off, then you just want to work with it. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that, you know, when you're taking the, the separating the halves, that nothing really like stuck, right? But that's a nice stick pan too. And there you have it. Look, nice. Not even that much stuck to the sides. Look, just make, you know, handle it with care, and that's what you come up with right here. I hope you guys can just see just how good and easy this is to make. You know what I mean? Uh, hey, so listen, got my little spatula, and now it's time to go ahead and eat me some of this. So I want you guys to tell me what you think about this. You want to talk about something that's like super easy? It doesn't get no better and no easier than that, right? No bake? Come on, just mix up a few ingredients, put it in the refrigerator, and then you pull it out, and it's ready. Hey, with that being said, hey, we finna get us a slice. You just seen me slice it. And I gotta just tell you this, listen, I didn't sample a lot of things that she has done. You wanna talk about like easy recipes, you know what I mean? Something that's just like uh, truly a delight. And for me, only thing that's missing is just this tall glass of ice cold milk. But anyway, enough talking, let's get it. Hmm. I don't even know what to say. Look, you know what, when you put sweets in your mouth, it does something a little different than when you're like putting the meat or like a, you know, a meal or something like that, right? As Soon as you put this in here, listen, it does something to your tongue, your roof explodes, the whole shebang. You wanna talk about good? Oh man. Mm. Man, this is fire right here. Hey, at least you outdid yourself with this one right here. Now you guys, don't forget to go by and check out In the Kitchen with Elisa. I think like in the beginning, I might've been seeing Elisa in the kitchen, but it doesn't make a difference. Even if you put that in there, her channel comes up, but the correct name of her channel is In the Kitchen with Elisa. You guys go by there, check her out. Tell her, you know, you came here for me. Tell her, I, you know what? She doesn't even know that I'm making this. Uh, I just can't say enough about it. She sent me the recipe a long time ago. I'm getting around, you know, to doing it now. I wish I'd been doing it a whole lot sooner. So I just want to say, hey, look, this is part of my rotation. And you know what? I like that ease. Now, if you're new to my channel, let me just take this time to say, hey, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And with that being said, you guys, I'm finna get me a couple of more bites of this and I'm out of here. Peace.